is there been points when you've been wrestling in a match where the switch doesn't, or the switch, the fighting switch, the fight or flight switch gets turned on and you've had to sort of pull back and or regroup, take a breath and kind of go, okay, this is the contest. It is physical. I know for me, even wrestling my friends or whatever, something, there's a point that where it becomes now, you know, even, yeah. you know, tickle fighting with my girlfriend or whatever, I, then I become competitive yeah. and I have to win. So is, has there been any of those moments for you in the professional wrestling ring? To me, my competition is the locker room. It's not just the guy I'm in the ring with. You know what I mean? My competition is the whole entire locker room. It's always been like that when I was on the independence or even AEW. You know what I mean? And I try to look at it healthy. Not like everyone's my competition or it's me against everyone and my back's against the wall. Not that. It's from competition of I want to steal the show. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to, no one's going to do that but me and my opponent. Even if my opponent doesn't want to steal the show, I will drag you. <laughs> I will forcefully drag you so we can steal this show. Especially pay-per-view matches. That's where, you know what I mean? I'm trying to steal the show every time I'm out there, but especially pay-per-views. I'm trying to get everybody talking about whatever I did in my match. And that's where the competition comes in. And that switch stays on, man. The only mm. time that switch goes off is when I go outside and I see my man Ortiz and we relax. You know what I mean? Because he's the, one of the rare people that can calm me down. Outside my girls, my homie uh, Monkey Ortiz, you know? Him and Mox. Out of all people, Mox calms me down. <laughs> it's a weird dynamic. Lars, yeah. 